right, guys, we are back with another video. In this one, we are covering all of the essences that are coming for the Tempest, which are probably already announced. Again, this is all pre-recorded because we did get to visit Blizzard ahead of time and test all this out. So let's jump straight into it, guys. So in this one, oops, let me go to the screen. Uh, make it ma max. All right, so you can see that we have Squall. These are all the headpieces. So Squall now marks enemies for X seconds, and some of this will obviously be updated by the time you see this, before it erupts, before it ruptures and slices through them. Dealing damage equal to 15% of the damage you dealt to them while marked. Rolling Surf critical hits cause an explosion of water, dealing 11,620 damage to nearby enemies. Now, ignore the like this and what it looks like obviously that's all going to change by the time it comes out or even probably by the time you see this video uh but let's continue on so uh dawning smile so wind walk cooldown reduced by 15 percent not bad and i'm trying to go slow as i'm recording this obviously so um swell cascade now continually unleashes the rings of water or of water from you and your zephyrs dealing damage to nearby enemies that's the one that i thought would be really good for farming so cascade now conjures one zephyr to slay oh shit <laughs> All right, so the bottom one here, Cascade now conjures one Zephyr to slam the ground at a target location, unleashing waves that damage nearby enemies. All right, so Cascade now conjures, uh, now conjures convergent, converging around you, damaging and knocking back enemies. The damage and radius of current uh, of currents is increased for every Zephyr you control. Cascade now causes you and your Zephyrs to uh, Zephyrs attacks to release waves at enemies you hit, dealing damage to them and nearby enemies. Cascade now conjures an explosive wave, damaging and stunning enemies. Um, stunned enemies take additional damage from your next attack, removing the stun. Okay, so after they're stunned, you do additional damage, but you remove the stun. Uh, Blade Dance now throws your edges, impaling them into the first enemy they strike, damaging and stunning them. Your edges will remain embedded in the target for a short while, allowing you to activate the skill again to dash behind the target, damaging enemies along your path. So you literally throw your blades and you're like, ha got him and then you could just hit it again to like that like pull yourself and go right behind them i had a lot of fun with that one and then last but not least for the heads cascade now floods the ground empowering you and your allies within causing your skills to unleash waves that crash through enemies damaging them so which is pretty good as well you can see i even wanted to test it all right so now we go to the chest so chest piece um rolling surf also conjures one zephyr riptide now conjures a wave damaging and knocking back enemies and then uh, uh, Vortex now conjures a geyser to erupt from the ground underneath from, and underneath random enemies every second, damaging and knocking them up. Cascade also increases primary attack speed by 30% for three seconds. Again, I really like that one. That one felt pretty good when I was utilizing it. All right. So, and then you can see this one right here. Um, well, you can't actually because I'm in the way. I don't know if this will actually be in the game or not, um, but this was like a will, way of filtering. So you can see mist touch. So it's like water ones compared to wind ones. I don't know if that'll actually make it into the game, but I thought that was an interesting feature. Hopefully it does come with the game. All right. Flowing strike now conjures a Zephyr and slashes and stun enemies at a target location before rushing forward in a flourish of edge strikes. Cascade also increases your movement speed by 40% for two seconds when strikes an enemy. Lots of movement speed increase, attack speed increase, and stuns. <laughs> Lots of stuns. You can see I play around with this a little bit. So it says mistouch. It didn't work for testing purposes, but hopefully it does by the time that we're, you know, back in the game and utilizing this. I had to like close and reopen it because I broke it. <laughs> Moving on. Um, flowing short on conscious effort. We talked about that one. Cascade also uh, also causes enemies hit to become vulnerable, taking 25% increased critical hit damage for four seconds. And then this one was Blade Dance also increases your primary attack speed by 50% for two seconds. And then last one is cascade cooldown is reduced by 15%. So again, a lot of these we didn't get like we had, we got to use a lot of them, but there were so many that we didn't get to use or at least combined. So storm fury now empowers only you, causing every three primary attacks to release a violent storm around you that damages and pulling in nearby enemies. This first one was pretty decent. Um storm fury previously does buff you and your allies within the radius. That's why it says only you. Wind walk now increases your evasion rating and reduces all skill cooldowns. Again, pretty good but there's some, actually some other really good ones as well for the shoulders. Uh, da, 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 da. So breaker cooldown reduced by 15%. And then this one was Zephyrs now have a shorter duration, but then when they dis, uh, dissipate, they charge into enemies and explode, dealing damage to all nearby enemies. Flowing Strike 
uh, conjures one additional Zephyr. Breaker charge is increased by one. Breaker also increases your damage by 10% for four seconds. All these are pretty straightforward, just good essences. Flowing Strike can now be used while surfing from a total, uh, suffering from a total loss of control and knockback effects, making you immune to their effects for 1.5 seconds. I thought that one was pretty sick. Now, this next one, though, is busted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Windwalk now makes you and your allies immune to primary attacks. What? Now, in my previous video where I talked about the skills, guys, this one is super good. We, When we were PvPing with each other in this test um, testing environment, we all ended up utilizing these shoulders. They were really, really, really good. I really enjoyed playing with them. Let's see if we cover anything else. Yeah, I was like, look, this one is, this is it. This is, I wanted to make sure I remembered, like, this one is insane. It was so fun to utilize. I even, like, <laughs> I had another content creator next. I was like, dude, did you see this one? <laughs> All right, so it's the shoulders. We already did that. Let's go to the pants. So Flowing Strike also grants you 10% increased damage for three seconds. Zephyr now increases your attack speed for 7% for each one you control. Miss Touch cooldown is reduced by 0.5 every time you cast a skill. Breaker now conjures two Zephyrs. Um, and, and, yeah. Zephyr Surge is increased by 8%, increasing damage each time. Oh, too fast. All right, next up. So Zephyr Surge deals 8% increased damage each time it strikes the same target up to a maximum of 40%. Could be good for single target fights there. Breaker now also co now conjures two Zephyrs that crash together on waves, damaging and knocking back enemies in their path. Don't think I used that one. I think it was that good. Could be good. All right, Breaker now conjures a Zephyr at your current location before you dash forward, damaging and knocking back enemies in your path. Tidal Rush now commands your Zephyrs to charge at a target location, damaging and stunning enemies in their path. A lot of it is like how you move your Zephyrs. That's what I mean, guys. Like it's so much of it is like fast paced, dashing, quick decision making, and like moving your Zephyrs with you. And it's really tough. Like in order to perfect this, it'll take a ton of practice. And then the last one for the pants, Tidal Rush now commands a Zephyr you control to sacrifice itself for an ally to grant them a shield that absorbs damage and blocks projectiles. Generally speaking, shields are really good in, in these builds from what I was able to test. Let's go to the main hands, I think. At one point here, I am going faster, so I'll have to probably pause a lot more. So Squall is now channeled, causing you and your Zephyrs to periodically unleash wind slashes forward, dealing damage to enemies in its path. I didn't test this because I don't like channeling skills like that. I probably will, obviously, when we unlock it and when the game releases or when this class releases. Rolling Surf now transforms your you and your Zephyrs attack, primary attacks into swings with water blades for its duration. Um, I think I did use that one. That was pretty good. Uh-uh. All right, so Squall now makes you untargetable, causing you and your Zephyrs to dash forward, damaging enemies in your path. Untargetable, that's another iframe just from an essence. Wave's Edge also conjures a Zephyr for 1.5 seconds after striking the same enemy four times, which is your primary attack, one of your primary attacks. Uh, wind Walk Duration increased by 15%. Crosswind's hits... Crosswind critical hits cause four blades of wind to shatter off the target, dealing additional damage to nearby enemies. Cannot occur more often than once every 0.5 seconds. But it's only critical hits of crosswinds. Keep that in mind. Wind Edge, which is now your other primary attack, becomes empowered every six seconds, causing your next attack to unleash a piercing wind that slices through enemies, dealing 12,357 damage and shattering their armor, causing them to take 10% increased damage for three seconds. And then Squall now causes you and your Zephyrs to swiftly dash forward, damaging enemies and shattering their armor, increasing all damage they take. Very similar here. Squall does it or your primary attack. So Squall is obviously something you can trigger when you're doing it where this one is every six seconds this one is pretty good if you're just gonna be constantly attacking probably in like a pve environment um like especially when it comes to raids or boss fights but this one would be better for pvp where you can actually control when you get that buff because otherwise it's just every six seconds which you know you have three seconds of not having it essentially Let's see if there's any more there was one more wind walk also removes all non loss of control harmful effects all non-loss of control harmful effects. So like burns, I think, harmful effects. Yeah, so like burns, poisons, and stuff like that. So that could be good too. All right, I think now we go to the offhands. 
So Crosswinds now empowers your edges with wind for a short duration, causing you and your Zephyr's primary attacks to unleash wind blades damaging enemies. So again, you can sort of pick how you want that to go. A very, very similar essence was utilized on the other hand, but for the uh, for a different skill. Crosswinds now causes you and your Zephyr's to launch wind blades damaging and slowing enemies. Um, again, it's Crosswinds, so you have to control it. Same, similar, same with both, actually. This is not one of your primary attacks. Vortex also increases your primary attack speed by 50%. I oh, thought it was going to go slow. <laughs> it did not. All right, so Vortex also increases your primary attack speed by 15% for three seconds after hitting an enemy. Zephyr damage increased by 15%. So all Zephyr damage, keep in mind, no matter what skills or primary attacks you're using, you always have Zephyr. So this is just straight up 15% increased damage that your Zephyrs do, which is could be good depending on which build, because some of your builds utilize more Zephyrs than others. And keep in mind, you can only have a maximum of three Zephyrs alive at one time. So, Mist Whisper, 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 oh my god, I'm drunk, I'm not, I'm just saying. Zephyr Search now unleashes a series of rapid strikes against a single enemy, with each Zephyr consuming, consumed, granting additional strikes. So again, you're consuming your Zephyrs, um, and that's where, like, the other one where you get 15% more damage isn't going to be good if you're doing builds like this where you consume it. So Zephyr Search now unleashes a series of rapid strikes against a single target with each Zephyr consumed. Crosswinds is now channeled and can be cast while moving, causing you and your Zephyrs to spin, launching wind blades that damage nearby enemies i actually didn't test this one now that i read it again it feels like that could be even pretty good for um farming maybe spin to win tempest baby interesting i should have tested that it's amazing how much we did in four and a half hours but at the same time like how little we did in four and a half hours <laughs> All right, so Zephyr Surge can now be charged to increase its damage, allowing you to unleash a powerful slash of air. With each Zephyr consumed, also increases critical hit chance of the attack. Again, up to three maximum. Wind Edge becomes empowered when you use a skill, causing your next two primary attacks to deal 14,000 damage. Wind Edge becomes empowered. So this is, again, one of your primary attacks, which is pretty good since it's just whenever you use a skill. Damn. Last one is mistouched orbs also increase your attack and movement speed by 15% for four seconds. I found myself just utilizing this one a lot. Um, I didn't say this, but when your Zephyrs die, they unleash this orb that you will see on the ground um, that it will obviously give you a, a brief buff. Um, and this one increases your attack and movement speed by four seconds. I will say in a PvP environment, it was very difficult to even see them at all with how fast you're moving as a Tempest. So I don't think this will be a very good benefit for PvP. Um, but this could also be picked up by your allies. At least that's what we were told. I don't know if that will actually work. We also didn't test that, unfortunately, but we'll have to test it when the Tempest comes out here in just a few days. So that's it for all the essences, guys. Um, again, I'm breaking down each and every part of everything that we did in this uh, trip to Blizzard. I had such an amazing time. I cannot thank them enough for inviting me on this trip and being able to test the Tempest. And I, yeah, it was it was such an awesome experience. But let me know which of these essences you think are going to be the best. Um, hopefully, you're sort of formulating some additional builds. We tested a bunch of builds, and honestly, like that, there were so many good builds. I can't stress it enough. There was so, and I even gave that feedback to them. It felt very obvious that. Um, we couldn't find a bad build. Like it were so many builds that could be good or were better in certain situations. I think this one, like, you know, we have the armory that has like all 10 different builds. You will probably use 10 different builds for the Tempest, which I think is really cool. I have like, I think the only other class I max out all my builds on is probably the wizard because there's so many different essences that do different things. Very similar to the Tempest, which as you guys know, wizard is my favorite. Is Tempest going to be my new favorite? Whew. Is it too early to say? But it might be. 